Good here. All mm -hmm. right. Well, welcome everybody. Um, back after a two-week break, we are back at the Star Trek Adventures USS Nighthawk. I'm McCall, and I welcome back all of my players, and w welcome back to anyone who wishes to continue watching. I don't have my I don't have any announcements, so without further ado, let's go right into the ship's log. Science officer's log, starting eight two four five point five. We have finally completed the survey of the Zell system. There are signs of previous habitation, but no more Zell, drones, or otherwise. While I am personally looking forward to looking at some of the samples we've collected, we are currently at warp 5, heading to the area known to the Petras. Hopefully learn more about them and this area's space. I came to Starfleet looking for a frontier experience, and I sure have found one crossing this gulf of dead and dying systems. But, as I learned, where there is death, there is also new life. Blog. Right. So, as said, you know, you've been traveling at warp 5 for roughly a day now. And let's figure out what people are doing. Uh, we'll say that it is about halfway through Alpha Shift. Um, so, let's start with Lieutenant Alec, or Lieutenant Birkin. Um, sort of learning on what we, what, what we learned um, on the previous planet what, with the uh, the mini collective and, and and such and how we dealt with it and uh, reflecting on the lessons learned of ship combat and weapon studies and stuff very well knee deep in knowledge knee deep in knowledge and lieutenant commander Thashran, whereabouts are you and what are you um doing? i'm down deck but uh, surprisingly enough, I'm not actually tinkering with the engineering this time. I'm actually looking over my records about um, some of the cultural notes I made um, last time. I'm always interested anytime we meet a new culture, so just kind of reviewing um, what I've, I've written down and uh, you know taking note of that. Okay. Um, so it's been about a week since you. Um, so you've after you saved the Zell, you've spent about three or four days in orbit, just making sure that the free society is not going to self-destruct and you've seen a fairly logical species starting to embrace their individuality a whole lot more than they did probably prior to the assimilation. Okay. Uh, Lieutenant Commander Helsing. Roger, down in the holodeck uh, with some of the security staff taking information we've gathered from the Zell Collective information we've got passed on to us um, on the Vatars and the Toga Togalu. Togalau, yeah. And just kind of running through different combat situations that we might encounter. Very well. Okay, so you are in the holodeck. Which means you are not on the bridge. Okay. And uh, Com Commander Shear, I am not even going to try pronouncing your last name. Um, the sheer works. Yeah, I figured as much. Uh, the captain has taken time to be in the ready room after his most extensive report. So currently the con is yours. And unless you wish to do something else, in which case Lieutenant Erkin will be the ranking officer. This chair's comfy, so I'll be relaxing here and get the captain. All right. So, all of this peace and quiet comes to literally a shuddering halt as your, as the uh, USS Nighthawk shudders, scre uh, scrapes as a as if a metal boat raking across a reef comes to a juddering halt, and the power goes out. Helm becomes unresponsive, and you are quickly engulfed in darkness for about five to ten seconds before emergency lighting powers on. Uh, did we drop out of warp? Yes, indeed you have. You are no longer at warp. Um, in fact, once your console powers itself back up, you realize that you've come to a complete halt. At the moment, sensors are down, uh, engines are down, life support is operating at minimum, 
and the whoever is currently at the tactical console is reporting that there are so, uh, several minor injuries among the crew. However, no major ah, no major injuries yet. Helm, what did you do my to my baby? Boy, I'd love to tell you. <laughs> I'm afraid I'm a bit short on answers. I'm a bit in the dark. Hey. <clears throat> I get up and stand over his shoulders and try and counsel. Alright. Just... Yeah. This would be a uh, ah, this would be a control plus con test daring two to figure out what happened. Alright. And Lieutenant Alec, you're awfully quiet if you can somehow make yourself a little louder. That would be appreciated. How, how's that? Testing, Ooh, testing. Much better. Okay. I moved the microphone away because I was chewing. Ah, uh, uh, okay. Control. Oh, sorry. Daring plus con. Uh, control plus con. Difficulty oh, two. Two. I will use my helm operations focus. Mm-hmm. Anyone want to roll for the ship? Hmm. Never mind. Oh, but we can get momentum. You could have, but you didn't. <clears throat> okay. Um, replaying the last few seconds before the incident uh, your ship ran, agra- ran across a massive gravitational uh, anomaly uh, so some sort of a gravimetric wave emanating from a near- fairly nearby s- uh, system oh. um, at the moment ah. however your helm is unresponsive due to the fact that you appear to be tra- caught in some sort of tractor beam I'll relay that to, the- to Commander Bashir uh are sensors up yet? <clears throat> sensors are operating at minimal power, so you, you do not get the benefit of the high-resolution sensor t- talent. Okay. Is this something okay. I can try to repair? Absolutely, if you'd like. Um, this. So let's quickly do a sensor, sensor scan, and then we'll look at uh, Shras down in engineering. Uh, so this will be a difficulty of two to see what the heck is going on. There's the Bashir. Okay. Can the ship assist? Not in its current state. Roger. Difficulty of uh, that is not successful because I believe I just I set the difficulty two correct. Correct. Yeah. Um, there's just far too much interference going on at the moment. Not um, all the circuits are just overloaded at the moment. There is no. You're not able to get a clear picture. You know that you're stopped. Um, b- based on previous uh, stellar cartography, you know that you're in a. A system that is a brown dwarf star, so a star that just never really got going and is just going to fizzle out eventually. But that's pretty much it. So uh, can I can I turn the the main display on? Absolutely. All right. Uh, anything out there that we can see visually? Fighters, nebula, sun, that sort of thing. Ah, I will get to you. That I will answer that in a split second once I'm done sure. with what Take is going on with. Uh, the Shran down in engineering. All right, um, I'll, I'll come up to you to help. All right, Helm, give me a uh, priority. What, what what do you want me to bring back up first? Um, uh, engines. 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 All right. Uh, I guess so. Do we think this is? I guess it's probably dangerous enough that I can. I'll probably jury rig some repairs rather than doing permanent repairs just to get this um, done quickly and fast. Okay. Uh, so I have the jury rig talent which reduces the difficulty by two um, but the repairs are only temporary and only last a single scene so I'll have to fix it again later but we're probably in danger so we'll probably prioritize getting it fixed now rather than doing it perfectly. That sounds reasonable. Uh, okay, so what is this then? This... Uh, let's see. So you are trying to do a daring plus engineering. Oh, right. Uh, with a difficulty of 
Let's say difficulty of one for the moment. Okay, so jury break reduces it uh, by two to minimum of zero. Okay, so the oh, it's by two. Ah, I yeah. misremember. Okay, so it is actually difficulty of zero because I had originally set it to two. So yeah, difficulty yeah. zero. So momentum time, folks. Hopefully. Yep. Uh, so two D twenty. Dev focus. Um, let's see. Engines. No. Okay. What sort of uh, focuses? Ooh. Okay, so you get one momentum. Oh, jeez, okay. <laughs> Good thing I jerked it then. Yes. Um, you are able to uh, bypass uh, several of the burnt-out circuits by running more red cables, because as we both know, red means that the electricity moves faster. Mm -hmm. uh, Lieutenant Cassatt is busy attempting to maintain the power to the uh, warp, uh, warp reactor core. Uh, he turns to you and goes, Commander, I'm detecting some... And then he just vanishes. What? <laughs> Come to command. Uh, I think... Is that... Is that indic indicative of someone, like, beaming him up? Or is that a more esoteric effect? Um, it's very similar in visually to a transporter effect. Not, All right. Not what you're familiar with, though. Okay, I'll call him to to uh, to Helm and, and say, uh, Helm, I think um, seems to be some aggressive uh, teleporting of our our staff. The uh, one one of my lackeys just got um, vanished right in front of me. Uh, well, you need to get those shields back up to stop yep. the transporter. Uh -huh. Yeah. Uh, Anything um, circling into view? <laughs> bridge. This is sick. Bridge. This is um. Da. Where'd medical go? Ah. Uh, Bridge, this is uh, Zin from Sickbay. Sir, the Dr. Cassatt, or sorry, uh, the Dr. Kenor has just vanished, sir. Uh, explain? I don't know, like, sir. She was uh, fixing up an individual's knee, and then all of a sudden she just vanished. Hmm. It's not the first Computer! Report. Crew! Uh, missing or currently disappeared? How many? There are p Within the last five minutes, 25 individuals have left the ship through unknown means. I guess I better hurry up and fix those shields then. That would be, be a good idea. Okay, yeah. so um, back on the bridge, the view screen comes alive. And the sensors begin to sort of start sorting themselves out. And this is what you see. Um, okay. What you see is a... It's the size of a small moon. Um, it is gunmetal gray, primarily, with several, or, or several light blue uh, patterns tracing through it. Uh, the center is completely hollow, and it appears to be sort of shooting some sort of particle fountain through it, uh, directed at an end, uh, directed at um, an empty point in space, just a parsec or two, um, parse. Nope, sorry, just a couple AU distant from where you are. Uh, I'm going to attempt to see if this has come up in any of my starship knowledge. Okay, uh, that would be some sort of identity, identify starship. So yeah. that would be insight plus con. Uh, this would be a difficulty of four. Right. Uh, anyone mind if I spend the momentum? Let's go, go for it. Ahead. Yeah, Sorry. go for it. Okay. Uh, well. Ooh, that's fun. Okay. <laughs> so that is two successes and a critical and a failure. Uh, let's see. Uh, Commander, I've never seen anything like this in my reading, with the Prophet's yeah. guidance or anything. The only thing that pops up um, now that the sensors are starting to come back online is it's detecting um, that the hull of this thing, if 
you really can call it a hull, is made of neutronium. And the only other thing of this scope, or the scale, is would be the legendary planet destroyer that was encountered by Captain Kirk in the USS Enterprise. Uh, I will relay that word for word to the commanding officer standing behind me. <laughs> uh, let's take a look and see if we're able to get shields back online before more people decide to vanish. Um, by the way, I'm going to take threat for that complication. Um, so this is going to be a daring uh, engineering. Uh, difficulty three, just because you've lost a couple of your engineering department now. All right, well, I'm going to jury rig this too. Okay, so that now brings it down to difficulty of one. Yep. Uh, shield, I'm just going to look at my focuses. Uh, I don't think any of these apply. What do you have for focuses? Warp field dynamics, melee combat, power systems. Um, power systems cultural... work. Power systems, all right. Oh, yeah, Shields. shield just need a lot more power, and your ship just That's lost true. a lot of it. So I think that would be a decent focus. Okay. Well, there you go. okay, so you got uh, mo two momentum. Yeah. Um, do, you guys, I, do you guys think I should spend one momentum to make the jury rig last for an additional scene? Right now, this will only last for one scene to fix the shields. I'm good yeah, we need shields I'm for a while. I'm fine with okay. that, really. I'd yeah. rather us stop and take a look than <laughs> get pulled in and... <laughs> Okay, so I'll, I'll, I'll spend one of the momentum to make it last uh, two scenes instead of just one. Okay. Uh, Lieutenant Commander Helsing, uh, you were in holodecks when everybody started disappearing and the ship sort of ran aground. Uh, what Correct. Are you so, um, of course, trying to get out of, in, out of the holodeck, I guess the power goes down, lights go out, go back on, start plugging into the command frequency anytime of disturbance happens will just automatically come come online as soon as we start hearing that people are starting to go missing send the word out to all security personnel to start team start nobody goes out unless you're paired up with other people mm -hmm. um call up to the bridge uh commander Bashir, commander house commander helsing yes lieutenant um, recommend that if we got 25 people missing at last count that everybody has at least one security officer with them at all times I think that would be wise that way if somebody uh, does go missing do we have enough security for something like that we can at least have somebody posted in all main in all different areas. roger uh, it should be noted that one of the individuals that was taken was the captain. Just because his player character isn't here, so why not? <laughs> Sounds Makes good. Sense. Yeah. Okay. Ah. Are we, are we and I start making my way up to the bridge. All right. Yeah. And when he calls and starts splitting out security, I'm just going to immediately set us to red alert to watch, just to make that official. Wise idea. We get the pitiful sound of the shields trying to come up. <laughs> hey, they think about it. Okay, so uh, engines are back online, uh, Mr. Ah, Mr. Erkin. Um, however, you are not able to get the ship moving yet. Uh, it appears that whatever the whatever has brought the ship to a dead halt um, is also sort of keeping you in place. It also might be that there's a fairly sizable tractor beam coming from the, we'll just call it the moon. But we're not getting, we're not getting pulled into it or anything. We're just stationary. At the moment, you're just stationary. Yes. Um, Any communications coming in? Any there, thing? Any, is it trying to call us or something? Uh, no, actually, um, you're actually going to be getting a call from one of the binars. I say one because his partner has vanished. Oh no. oh no! Oh no! Bridge, not the smart one. Hey. Br Bridge, this is one one. <laughs> one one, go. Sir, something's accessing our computer and downloading it at significant speed. 
Can you stop it? Attempting to, sir. It would be better if my partner was here, but um, I'm attempting to I'm attempting to boost our encryption protocols. Um, so if someone could please pull up one zero and one one, and have them roll a and because this is this counts as an activation, so you can give them a focus of value or boost their attributes or discipline by one, um, and have them roll a daring plus um, engineering test, please just to see how well they do. And this is going to be a difficulty of three test. So I can pull that up. So you said daring plus... Uh, daring plus engineering. engineering. Okay. Uh, do they focus this apply to this? Data I think analysis. they have computer science, which is probably... Oh, yeah, they do. Enough. Yeah. And you said they could increase something? Yep. You can give them one value, uh, one focus, or boost one of their attributes or disciplines by one. Okay. Yeah, it's kind of a cool thing. I don't think that would have helped. <laughs> wow, we are toast. Bridge, um, I regret to inform you that I may have made it easier. Um, this, we're sort of... <laughs> Whatever it's doing, sir, it's decrypting faster now. I'm sorry. If only my Keep trying. Might... Do what you can. Keep me informed. Mm -hmm. Okay. We are now at a... So what would you guys like to do now? Um, I'd like to hail them. Very well. At least try to hail that area to ask, you know... <laughs> Okay. Um, they do appear to be re uh, receiving the hail. However, there is currently no response. Uh, what do you wish to say? Um, this is Ca uh, Commander uh, Bashir. <clears throat> excuse me. Commander Bashir of the Nighthawk. Um, we are crossing through this space and just asking, like, what was going on. And, uh, like, Sending a peaceful greeting, um, and that we're here for as explorers and asking what they want. Uh, you get a burst of binary. It sounds almost like a modem, a, one of those good old-fashioned dial-up modems, except it's about twice as high and plays about twice as quick. Uh, it's run through your computer database and an auto or your translation matrix and the automated voice sends we seek information or this station seeks information on the current universe you or your ship your ship and passengers shall serve as examples for study can we are we, or my crew and I, in any danger? Your ship will be analyzed, and once uh, once its information has been de downloaded, deciphered, shall be broken down and further analyzed. Not like the sound of this. That's uh, breaking down the ship. That's even worse if we lost crew members. And a lot of the information we have in that computer base is highly confidential, but already transferred. Wow, oh, it's tra it's being downloaded. Yeah. Yeah. Is there a way uh, to put a virus in that computer transmission? Well, you can certainly try. Um, that would be another daring plus engineering from the um, binar. Yeah, uh, that's outside of my skills. <laughs> Once they again, they are pretty bad at uh, that. <laughs> that. You know, they could redeem themselves. Um, we'll set this as a difficulty two. Okay. Uh. All right. So I'll roll for them. So I'm gonna spend the momentum to make them roll an additional die. Very well. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Right. So three tw three twenty. Uh, computer science. So that's focus. 
right. Is the ship in any way to help? Um, yes, I say that you've regained enough over it that the ship can assist with uh, computers plus engineering. And it might need it. Yeah. Okay. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. <laughs> no. uh, we made it worse again. Okay. <laughs> um, we just sent them all our, secu- our back doors. <laughs> so I'm going to spend that. Our, uh, so that complication. Our Facebook password. Yeah. <laughs> you set the default password admin. <laughs> um, so your computer system is going to suffer a breach. Uh, which means that for the t- until such time as it can be repaired um, the ship cannot assist with any task requiring computers so if someone could please mark that on the uh, ship sheet that there is a breach to computers um, there is a another burst of, of a screaming binary that once again translates interference will make this a far more painful process for you where do you write the breach to ship computers uh, so if you open up the ship sheet there should be several uh, little check boxes underneath the various systems I, I added one. Oh. Oh, yeah, I added one okay okay that's it yeah. okay cool <clears throat> oh, okay hmm Um, um, so based on your rough estimation, the computer core will be fully downloaded in about four hours. So this is not just given the size of your ship and the redundant or the um, the density of the data you have. This is going to take a fairly long time for it to figure out before it decides to finally, you know, do whatever it needs to do. Um, are they still abducting crew members? No. Uh, okay. Thankfully, they seem to have stopped at 25. Uh, do a quick survey of the list of to see if it's 25 different species or some of the same different same okay. species. Or this is going to be an insight plus command, I believe. That would be a difficulty of one. Right. Insight plus command. And if you have something like personnel management or team dynamics or. Uh, uh, I have animal handling. Uh, <laughs> I mean, we do call them filthy animals. Congratulations! <laughs> you notice the cats are missing. No. Um, oh no! <laughs> no. The horde is gone. Yeah, the horde on deck uh, twelve is gone. Oh. No, uh, no so animal handling won't work here. But at least you make it. So, the, uh, your initial in instinct is correct. It did seem to take a, at first glance, a random allotment, assortment of species and genders. But, uh, so for example, there was a male Bajoran that was taken. Thankfully, not you. Not me. And a female Bajoran was also taken. Might explain why the captain is no longer present either. Uh... Captain Human? Uh, Captain is half the uh, half. Oh, half, yeah. yeah, half um, Beta Zoider. Yeah. All right. Yeah. I'll read Be sure to engineering. Engineering here. Can we shut down? Comp- what would what would happen if we completely shut down the computer system? Do I even know what would happen if I completely shut down our computers? Uh, yeah. So basically, what will happen on if you shut down the computer system is all automated tasks will come to a grinding halt. Um, it will be far more difficult to operate sensors or engines because of the a lot of the stuff is assisted by computers. Um, turbo lift, voice recognition, replicators, the automatic doors that whoosh open and close as you approach them. Uh, so I can tell them, so that that would stop their stop or at least slow down their download, but that would leave us completely dead in the water. I, I sure hope you have something planned for what we're going to do without any, any computers. It would probably make it escalate whatever it's doing because of, since that is non compliance. Right, I would think so too, honestly. And it could just, you know, completely just slowly tractor us in since we have zero resistance. Exactly. 
I mean, it sounds like we're destined to that anyway, so we might as well take some action. I mean, we could always bring weapons back online, but then we risk the crew that's been abducted. I don't think we'd risk that. I think we just risk our own hides at that point. It's the size that's of true. a freaking moon. With all due respect, sir. We should probably do the, not do this over the comm. Why don't we all meet in the ready room <laughs> and discuss options? Okay. All right. So uh, meanwhile, we're in the right ready there. room. Uh, ready room or conference room? Our conference room. Okay, we'll go to conference room. We've got a good four hours to figure it out. Okay, now let's see. Who... Are we still being pulled or are we you're at just, least. You're being held in place. Okay. Oh, okay. All right, so uh, now do you guys wish for any other individuals to be present? Oh, the binar for sure. Okay. Let's see, so Captain is. He has some explaining to do. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, he's only half as effective. That's really good. Did him. Hey, and you yeah. want a binar. So he only gets half a demotion. <laughs> now there's a question. If they get prom if one gets promoted, does that automatically happen to the other one? Well, technically, I'm part of the Starfleet. I thought that was like, um, come on board. To like I mean, they're like friends with Starfleet, not actual Starfleet. Yeah, I'm haven't actually figured out if they're yeah they could be just um specialists um because i was trying to remember that in the books they had the uh the two of them that actually that did happen to well, like his part died and he went into like emotional terminal turmoil forever in like the the science uh novel I can't remember, but i don't think they are part of star they're just like advisor yeah Let's run with that. Let's just say they're specialists. Cool. Sure, for me. Okay. Anyone else we want need? Well, looks like we have a good group of individuals. Uh, good quorum. Yeah. Yeah, I think well, the area is covered. Okay. okay. Any xenobiologists or astro? I'm science. Uh, yeah. Xeno. So. Okay. All right, people. We need ideas. So no one knows anything about this, about this race, right? You don't even. We don't know what that. Yeah, it might not even be a race. It's just a computer. Fair enough. No. Isn't it pumping a particle beam somewhere? Where is it pumping that that energy to? Uh, it is only. It's pumping it to uh, what, at your glance, just appears to be a perfectly normal sector of space, about one AU away. So, but the distance between the sun and Earth is the distance that this particle beam is shooting. And now uh, that there I think no, about it, that's no way sign. too far. So let's say half an AU. Uh, no sign of a planet there or any other power source kind of thing? Or... Um, funny you should mention that. There, um, now that you've had time to review your sensor logs, despite the fact that ship power is still heavily down and sensors are being hampered, uh, you do see that it is drawing power from a from a from the aforementioned brown dwarf star. Hmm. Hmm. So is there any way we can cut cut that power? We, we Short of you know blowing up the star. I was just to say. <laughs> can we get a scan of that where it's pumping the energy to? Certainly. Um, that would be a sensors plus science. And I'm going to say that you've regained enough power that the um, that the uh, high fidelity sc scanners talent once again can apply. Uh, so that will be a difficulty of two. Uh, insight plus science and the ship will assist with sensors plus science. All right, sensors, science. And I'll let whoever's better with science do the. Okay. I'm on that right now. Sweet. Ship does. And if you have anything like particle physics, or um, I would probably even allow astrophysics. Those would would be good focuses. Mine are all life sciences and stuff. Well, this will be a fun new discovery for you. <laughs>
Well, you have... There we go. Excellent. So you get uh, one momentum from that. <clears throat> so what it's doing is it's pumping a series... A, it's generating and then firing at a rate similar to that of a particle accelerator. Um, neutrinos and... Oh, phew, we've already for, I've forgotten the other particle. Um, oh, nadion. Nadion particles and neutrino particles at a section of space. And that section of space is beginning to ever so slightly bend in on itself. It looks like it might be creating a wormhole or possibly something even worse. And so you, thanks to the sensors, you have one free question that you can ask. Uh, I, I have a question... I would like to ask. Okay. It's a. Uh, are there any remnants of planets in this system? Like, did this become a brown dwarf star, or was it always a brown dwarf star? Like, did it come in here? Did it come in here and destroy something, and then mm. now it's leaving? Okay. Um, that's a good question, but yeah. Um, so what you've seen, uh, basic scans of the solar system, indicate that it might have it, that it at one point was a a far more complicated solar system. There is several traces of uh, larger planets in the... Uh, you see a grand total of three regular planets, rocky planets, no no signs of life. And then there is a large uh, Saturn class... or class S, so a Saturn-sized gas giant on its peripheral. Indicating that at one point this system had a far more powerful star. However, now that it's a brown dwarf, uh, these planets are getting um, further or disjointed in their orbits and probably at some point will just depart the system entirely uh, as Class R or rogue planets. Well, that escalates matters. And it's probably more it's probably smart enough to just to lock onto other ships so if we launch the shuttles and attempt to try to board it it would probably lock them in place too or blast them out of space yeah because any hostile action we take at this point invites retaliation unless we make it an overwhelming res initial response um, uh, one one pokes at one of the pads sir we finally we've completed a or I've I've completed a sensor the sensor mapping of the surface most of it is very smooth sensors can't penetrate but there is signs of a uh, complex at lat at these coordinates it appears to be size of a small station um, detecting uh, detecting faint life signs. Probably the crew. Do we have a number of the life signs? He shakes his head. No. Um, all the exotic particles have blocked are hampering the transporter. Hmm. I wonder if they would deal well with in-person negotiation. Yeah, I'm just wondering, like... Is that? I feel like it's risky, but I don't know if we have any uh, better options. I don't think we do either. Yeah, because anything we do that's overt from the ship just invites them to, to shoot us back. Yeah, I don't really want to be on the other end of the guns. Assuming yeah. And with that hull, we're not going to do much damage with our phasers or anything. No, it's the size yeah. of a moon, right? So. Also, yeah. also, neutronium is one of the most resilient mat known metals in the universe. Well, if we're going to send a way team, we better do it fast. We, we don't have much time left before they, they finish downloading our computers. If we took the Spectre, how many people could we, trans could we transport all 25 in, as well as hold on the way team? No, the Spectre is... Spectre is only... Yeah, yeah Spectre is only two uh, passengers. Oh, um, right. So I was a little bit Got it. No, it's the Type XX shuttle that can hold five or six. Uh, it, can, it can seat eight comfortably in a Type XX, but... I'm sure if you were to say, pay no attention to the safety regs, you could probably cram in a lot more. Even then, 
like it feels like our our best bet might be to hmm, send a away team and then try to arrange a transporter pickup by disabling um, systems down there. Transporter enhancers are a thing. Actually, we can bring those. Get... But even if we do get the crew back, like that doesn't keep get us any further ahead. Well, we'd have to hope that this. I mean, this is a long shot. We'd have to hope that we find something there that either gives us leverage or gives us some kind of advantage that we can we can use on the um, on the moon structure. I... I just had this weird out of body experience that I had this like force talking to me. We go inside this space station and we turn off the tractor beams. I like the sound of your inside voice. Yeah, I like that too. <laughs> As I say, I think we should be, take a small group, go in, get the crew back, and shut down these beams and get out. Get out? Yeah. So we can okay. avoid. So we can avert Star Wars. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So away team, uh, who is going to go? Uh, well, I'll probably have to go to help disable the, the tractor beam. Okay. Yeah. I'll be going. Have it. Carried. I can fly the shuttle. I don't know if I'm. <clears throat> I'm good in security, but I don't know if we need... Oh, we'll have some security people with us, too. Yeah, we to... mm-hmm. yeah we'll, take, we'll take a couple of security. We'll need the uh, um, transporter enhancers. Uh, I'm going to take one one, but he'll... Yeah, we'll take the buy Okay. Um, don't let him near computers. <laughs> yeah. Do you want to oh. stay with Phaser 2s or go to Phaser, phaser Rifles? <laughs> Go with phaser rifles and armor. All right, so that does get security right. if you choose to take them. Yeah. I think we still should because we have I zero agree. idea of what to, what to expect. There. What to are expecting? I agree. I, yeah. I I'm fine with that. Roger. Okay. So we are all. So going all on. of us here are going to sneak on board the station, save yep. the crew, yep. just left the tractor beam, and then we. <laughs> Hell out of here! I like this plan. <laughs> okay, excellent. So, I don't know about you, but I, I'm I'm excited. I'm excited and, for this plan. Yeah. Yes, I'm excited. It's a good plan. <laughs> a bit terrified, but also excited. Okay. Uh, the shuttlecraft has warp drive, right? It does. Yes. Because I'm thinking instead of taking the shuttle back to the Nighthawk, at the at a command, the Nighthawk jumps to warp to a pre- predetermined location, and the shuttle jumps to warp as well. Rather than docking, because by the time we get back to the Nighthawk, dock, and leave, he might have fixed his problems and blown us That's from space. Not a bad idea. Yeah. Well, we have 25 crew members to save. Wait, pilot seat is there. So, yeah, we can, we can work out a, a plan beforehand and say, hey, um, as soon as the tractor beam drops, they warp to, out of the system, and then we meet back up. Well, as soon as the tractor beam and and the beam everyone up, okay. Then get it, get out of there, and then we'll we'll meet you. Okay, so um, so we shall intro. So it sounds like we're going to bring along a couple security people, such as our newly created security officer. Um, now you mentioned zero, or one one. Why am I on the? Why am I always in the wrong bloody label, or layer? Okay. So, and now, would a would you like to bring along one of the nurses? That's probably wise. Yeah, because we don't uh, know the state of the crew that is there. <clears throat> okay. Uh, we shall bring along. Hello, nurse. Yes, indeed. <laughs> okay, there she is, Zot. Okay, so it is uh, the shuttle departs without any issue, and it does not appear to be affected at all by the uh, power drain, which is nice. 
Where did her token go? Or where did her picture go? That's peculiar. Anyways, um, I must have removed it by accident. Oops. Not because I see it here, but not. Anyways, uh, worry about that shortly. Um, so, if I can have a sensor scan as you approach the uh, station, finding a good place to dock, that would be a sensors plus engineering in this instance. Um, something structural might work. Um, actually, your starbase identification or starship identification would work too. Sure. Uh, let's say that this is difficulty one. Sorry, control and engineering. Is that... um, insight engineering, please. Insight, oh, sorry. Shuttle out. Uh, shuttle can help, yes. And small craft. I don't think sensor I need Sensor science? Uh, sensors engineering. Oh, okay. That's uh, Ooh, two, momentum. Or two momentum. And a third momentum. Okay. Oh, finally okay. some luck. Any questions we want to ask? Uh, so let me t tell you what you find first. Sure. Yeah, uh, the state or the... Um, the station itself is actually pretty um, uh, pretty simple. It's a geodesic dome located at the uh, at the eastern ah located eastern hemisphere of the planet or of the moon at zero degrees longitude. Longitude? Nope, zero degrees latitude. I should say. Sorry. Um, it's a, a semicircular dome. You don't see any seams. However, you do see several. Um, of fairly small docking ports that appear to uh, be for sh for ships of equal equal or larger size to your own. Uh, any intrusive activity on the computers or quietly being scanned, that kind of thing? Your shuttle does not appear to be the target of anything at the moment. Boats well. Mm hmm. All right, I've identified a landing platform. We're taking her in. Okay. Oh yeah. Any sorry. Any questions we want to ask with that extra with the momentum? How close? Um, how close are we going to be able to dock to the life signs? Um, it will be approximately a hundred meters or so away. As you get closer, you de uh, you determine. Um, that the internal structure is sort of cobweb-like um, and actually it descends far deeper into the neutronium uh, than you had initially tend thought. The life signs appear to be coming just below the surface about a hundred meters or so through some twisted corridors. But they're all in a group. All right, set her down. Okay. Okay, so first of all, you have to deal with the airlock. Um, naturally, the airlock is not being very friendly to your shuttle and has decided not to automatically open. Well, that's rude. <laughs> How rude. Knock on it with the nose of the shuttle. <laughs> uh, sorry, I should say that the, your shuttle docks, but the airlock on your shuttle does not depressurize. Their side doesn't let you in. Uh um, hack that. Yeah. Do we have something that's good at that? Uh, the binar raises their hand. And... All right, th third <laughs> shot's the charm, right? <laughs> Go for it, little buddy. Yeah. I quickly changed my LinkedIn password. Yeah. <laughs> we... uh, okay, do you want me to do the rolling? This will be um, control plus engineering with a difficulty of two. Okay. And one uh, other so... could assist if they wanted to. What would that roll be? Uh, similar enough. Um, that would be... Uh, Control plus engineering. 
Actually, now, I wonder if what I about should... security since it's a hack? You know, I have an infiltration I security. Focus. Yeah, the security would work actually for good for encryption. So if you happen... Okay. Uh, kind of, does this count as computer science? Uh, yes, computer science would work here. Okay. Uh, I'm going to spend a momentum to add an extra uh, die to this. Wow. Oh, oh, oh. So the binars, <laughs> or the binar just rough found his, uh, <laughs> that is, um, four success, or, that four is a grand total of six successes, so four momentum. So I think we're maxed on momentum, I think? You are now, yes. Yep. And you just, uh, Mr. Helsing, as soon as you have your cables up and ready to go in, uh, one one pushes a big green button on his, her, its tricorder, and the airlock opens up, leading you all into a hallway that looks something like this. Pay no attention to the little human there. I think that's no, nope, not quite. We'll move. I believe that's everyone. Nope, we're missing the commander. Where did the commander go? Uh, don't you hate it when commanders just go off on their own? There he is. So, uh, what you notice about the corridor is it is. A fairly, a very clean and uh, sem circular structure, well lit, um, uh, with uh, panels detailing all sorts of data that, at first glance, appears random. Um, you also notice that th who uh, the race that built this station are incredibly small people. So, if you're familiar with Dungeons and Dragons, they would be roughly halfling size. So to make your way through, you are all crouching. Wow. Except the binars. The binars are typically shorter, and so they are... They have are not as encumbered. I very much sort of ask the prophets for guidance. Not expecting anything, but just sort of know that... The akin of doing the, the cross on your chest, but this mm -hmm. is the Bajoran, like, grabbing the earring and whispering some words of prayer. Oh, Christ. If there were... If you hear inside your head the proverbial sound of crickets. Uh, are those panels... They look like they're sort of on, like, hatchway doors... Are they... Ah, good observation. Feel free, uh, if you'd like to open hmm. one up, you may do so. I am going to approach it cautiously, sweating profusely, and hit an open button. Okay. There is a small hiss. Um, some sort of gas uh, releases from the chamber. Um, causing you to cough a bit, you realize it is um, carbon, di uh, it's carbon dioxide uh, gas that's releasing from the chamber. Uh, it appears to be some sort of transportation, possibly a stasis cell, but it is currently unoccupied and designed for a humanoid type creature, again, about halfling size. I'll relay that to the away team. <clears throat> and it was still displaying data, or was it blank? Um, once you open it, it goes blank. Huh. One one, do you speak weird alien race? <laughs> <laughs> one one looks at you and goes, "I could attempt to interface with their computers and gain a better understanding of their language." Please better do than, better than anything I can do. All right. <clears throat> uh, let's see. There's that. There's that. Oh, that's why. Okay better. Okay, uh, the binar enters or sort of sits down inside of the chamber, uh, pulls out a 
long USB style attachment that appears to be coiled around its neck because wearable technology is a thing for them and attempts to interface it into one of their systems. Uh, you see uh, it go very quiet as it begins to interface is probably the best word for it. I'm kept or uh, commander this is very peculiar there's very little on this uh, there's very little on this computer about the species that designed this uh, station lots of data about encounters and but nothing of the species that built it not from here this is a isolated system meant for cryogenic or meant for storing species apparently cells hmm. possibly pods but yes pull up any sort of mapping system from here hmm. at least maybe get diagrams of the station or anything like that yes sir he goes into a bit of a trance and starts speaking as um, the binars uh, speak or communicate to each other in bursts of sort of monosyllab monosyllabic sounds as uh, further enhanced with uh, telecommunication signals. So you hear them go... For what seems to be longer than one would be comfortable listening to such a sound. But eventually says... Cap, I am I am preparing a map for your tricorders. Uh, you can follow this path here to get to their command center. The life signs appear to be coming from here, and the and the power source appears to be down here. Request permission to find my partner. Agreed. Uh. So we need to go. <clears throat> we have three areas we need to explore. Not a big idea of we all breaking up, but if we go to the command center and secure, see if we can get some information of what this is, and send a group to go to the retrieve our crew. And then we could all meet up, the tractor, and then get out of there. What is there? I don't disagree. Uh, I too am a little hesitant to split up the gang, sorry, the away team. Uh, <clears throat> but I think it's kind of our only option at the moment, just to keep it speedy. The less time we're in here, the better. Mm -hmm. I should note that it's now about three hours until the computer has finally finished downloading everything. Okay. That was my next question. I have a, one, one, I have a question for you. Yes. Any, any like, carbon-based life form residue inside these pods? Like, have they been occupied? Are these recently deceased? Or um, traces, DNA, residue, skin cells, whatever? Uh, the Bolian raises her hand and suggests that, she, being the medical officer, she is probably more qualified to answer that. Sorry, Lieutenant, I do forget that you're here. She goes, yes, the entire crew seems to have just remembered my presence. Uh, so if someone could pull up Zat, or Z Zot, I'll and she I could run a quick scan of the um, pods, uh, this would be a Insight plus medicine with a difficulty of two. Insight. Medicine. Uh, xenobiology focus okay? I would think so, yes. Two. That would be two successes. <clears throat> Captain, or, sorry, Commander, I'm not reading any uh, 
I'm not reading any cells in here aside from one once. This appear, in fact, sir, the without aside from yours, aside from skin cells coming from all of you, I'm not seeing any other species. It strikes me that this thing has been sanitized or or sanitized completely. The which is very difficult. Interesting. Stopping a ship at warp is also very difficult, so it's not outside the realm of possibility. <laughs> they seem to have done that one. <laughs> yes. With disturbingly great effect. Okay. One zero is going to want to find his mate. Prisoners will nurse. And Lieutenant Commander Helsing, um, I want you to leave that party. Uh, the rest of us will try to go to the command center. Okay, so am I splitting the party up right? So Helsing, 1-1, one, one, and Zot, and then the rest of you are in the other group? Yeah. Yep. Okay, cool. Um, does any group have a... Uh, well, the command center is closer, so let's look at that first. So we will cut you guys. And we are going to move you guys to the control room. Oh, and just an FYI, um, the Ensign Loxley and myself both have uh, transport enhancers. Good to know. Good call, thank you. Yep. Uh, you're, you're a little quiet on you. You've gotten a little quiet there. Um, Roger, better? That's a bit better, thank you. Okay, so you guys are here, and just because you are, this place is designed for creatures far smaller than you, you're now massive. There we go. <laughs> um, after a few incidental bangings of head and stubbing of toes, uh, you make your way into the control room. Uh, the control room itself is much smaller than you would have imagined for a device this size. Um, the... Mm, I apologize. Uh, the sphere on the... Mm, sorry. The sphere on the right side of the screen is dominating the center of your... Eh, of your... of the control room and appears to be a miniaturized version of the moon. Uh, there seems to be several indicators of activity coming from various subsystems from within it. And aside from that, and there's also a small highlight indicating that it has uh, tractor beamed a ship and has begun downloading data. Well, that's convenient. <clears throat> Uh, can I go ahead and kind of investigate the setup and see if I can figure out how this works? Absolutely. Uh, this would be an insight. Uh, let's see. No, you want to figure out how this works. So that would be a reason plus engineering uh, with a difficulty of four. Okay. Um, would this count as power systems? No. You're. Tr um, if you have something like... Um, well, I mean, are you what, talking what you mean, to figure out power yeah. systems? Just Not really. Them. Like, I guess overall how it works. So I guess that probably wouldn't apply. No. Um, um, well, let's have a look at your focuses here. Because only like only engineering type ones are really warp field dynamics and power systems, which I don't think probably apply here. No. Um, your linguistics would probably help you translate the system or whatever language they're using, but that appears to be. I don't have linguistics. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm looking at the other boolean. I apologize. Uh, let's look at the... Uh, um, yeah. Okay. Anyone able to assist me with this one? I, I'm i probably going to... Actually, any objections to me using three momentum to get two additional dice? I don't know. This is a four difficulty. Nope. Anyone able to assist? Uh, yep. People can assist. Um, reason... Reason engineering, reason science, either of those will work. I can give you a hand on the science front. Okay. Um, so it's reason engineering for me, right? Yeah. 
Yeah, the ensign just shakes her head and holds her hands up. Nope, not me. Yeah. Likewise from her. Uh, I'll wait to that. Well, oh, three okay. successes already. That's a good cool. start. Nice. Okay, hopefully someone can help out with that. Uh, don't forget determinations, too. Yeah, determinations are always useful. Can you quick, quick reminder how that works again? Um, so you can tap a value. So you can claim, uh, you can spend one point of determination, which you get at the start of every session, and declare a value. So, you know, if um, you can spend it to either re-roll all zeros within it once a uh, task has been done, or you can spend it to get a third dice that automatically rolls a one, so you get two successes. Um, there's a couple other options that are primarily combat focused, but those are... Yeah. Okay, so mainly getting an automatic like um, double success or re-rolling all your zeros. Correct, yeah. The big things. Okay. Okay, so you get the... <clears throat> uh, you get the successes, so, which is quite impressive, I must say. But, um, sadly, Commander Bashir seems to trip some sort of intruder detection system. Uh, there's a s loud screech of binary, and I... and two uh, emplacements. Are, they have, ah, two uh, s small hemispherical emplacements on the ceiling start glowing. And with that, we are going to have to enter initiative. Um, add a turn. And I don't have a token for the defenses, so we'll just... I'll just use them. So, um, they come to life, and I am going to dump some threats so that they go first. One of them is going to roll. And try to attack the person who tripped it, which in this case was the commander. Yay! Okay, so that is a one one success. So uh, if you could roll on, uh, this is a daring plus security to uh, dodge. So you have to get two successes in order to dodge the incoming attack. Is that still two twenty? Uh, yep, two to twenty. Ooh, okay. So it is going to... Now, you have a body armor, correct? Yes. Well, that's probably a smart idea. So you take... One, two, three... F uh, you will take six points of energy damage, uh, nullified by two, so you lose four stress. As a pierce, uh, it's uh, as it hits you, it feels like a thousand needles just jut juddering through your nervous system. Yeah, you shake it off, but oh man, does it hurt! <laughs> so, uh, it is now you, the hero's turn. So, one of you guys can take a pot shot if they'd like. Well, I'm gonna go ahead and fire right back. Okay. So, so because this is a stationary target, I do not get to oppose the roll, but you do it's a uh, control plus security with a difficulty of two to hit. What's the challenge dice on a phaser rifle? Um, it is, I believe, four plus security. Four. Okay, four plus security? Okay, thank you. Yeah. <clears throat> So I'm afraid that uh, the, your system uh, is a little tingly and has mucked up your <laughs> aim. So you end up scoring the ceiling. And the other dome is going to go active and is going to attack um, Miss Ebrel. So an opposing uh, daring security, please. All right, I have her. I can't will the focus or without, I forget. Uh, this is... Uh, so if you have, like, melee combat, hand-to-hand, -hand, stuff like that. 
um, no. ranged combat stuff like that would work uh, hand phasers I'll let it slide squad tactics Oops, squad tactics would and it's, work. and it's 2d 2d20 yep uh, difficulty 2 and you need to you need two successes and you don't do it negative okay Okay, so uh, you have resistance 2, thanks to the body armor. I believe it's resistance 2. I should probably check that. Um, so you take 4 points of stress, which is, thankfully, not enough to cause an injury. Alright, she marked. Okay. So, uh, the commander has had his turn. So it is now all of your guys' turns. Well, everyone except the commander. Any... Anybody don't think Loxley should shoot back? Uh, I will happily shoot back. Yep. <clears throat> All right. All right. We'll let Loxley yeah. go then. So, control security, difficulty two. Yeah, body armor has resistance of two. Excellent. Okay, Loxley hits. Okay, and four, so eight challenge dice. Ooh, nice. It is, um, you light it up and it blows up like an overloading neon sign. Payback. Who's next? I can stab one of my ice pick. And that might be difficult <laughs> considering it's on the ceiling. I mean, uh, but we are tall. Yeah, tall. I was like, oh, yeah, you are right. tall. Right, yes. Yeah, that's, that's the same. Yeah, that, so that could work. Is it within reach? Okay. Yeah, let's say it's in within reach. All right. <clears throat> uh, so that's daring plus um, security, right? Uh, for melee, yes, daring plus security. And I have a focus for melee combat. <clears throat> and it is a difficulty of one. So, yep. All right. And in challenge dice is uh, blade is two uh, plus security, right? That's correct. Oh, yeah, six. <clears throat> and I believe it's vicious one, which means that it rolls an extra damage for effect rolled, if I recall right. Uh, yes. Nice. So, uh, let's see. Okay, so that's a grand total of nine. Um, yeah. You perform a rather invasive dissection of the device <laughs> as it blows up in your pick's hand. And with that, combat has ceased. Aha, I've defeated the drone in honorable combat. <laughs> I'm glad he wasn't moving, sir. <laughs> he made it difficult by, by staying up in the ceiling, but I adapted. Commander, are you okay? Ow! <laughs> Loxley says, I know how you feel, sir. <laughs> okay, so, where were, where were we before the shooting started? Oh yes, you were, give, you were looking through the system in general. So, um, you've learned quite a few interesting pieces of information from this uh, thing. Uh, the first is is that it has no propulsion. It appears to just be a stationary object. Uh, the second thing is is that it does not appear to be of this universe. Um, and what its particle fountain is doing is it's generating a uh, uh, interdimensional tear, for lack of a better term, so that it can just sort of sl so it. It stays in one place, but travels between different uh, universes. Uh, the third is that this thing has an extremely long sensor range. Uh, from here, you're able to not only pierce, not only see the Carceri Nebula, where uh, Deep Space 15 is held, but you can actually pierce the nebula, which is 
very difficult to do with normal with uh, standard sensors and get a reading of various starships uh, currently at the station. And you can also use it to sort of get um, gl glimpses into the Vitaris Imperium, the Zell system, and several other nearby sectors. Can we download this information? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, that is going to be um, if you spend a mo if you spend a momentum, I will tell you truthfully. <clears throat> okay. Other? Yeah. Okay. Yep. So, um, right now, all of the computer resources is being utilized to download the uh, the database of the Nighthawk into its system. So, you could probably figure out a way to download it, but not through this terminal. Um, your tri uh, your tricorder maps once you correlate it to this map the maps in the control center, um, a new location or adventure location pops up called the information core. It, uh, a cursory glance indicates that the amount of data on this in this uh, core is, exceeds the size of the Nighthawks already um, expansive computer network by at least 10 times. Oh, I think it's worth going for it. I think it's worth going for it, too. We gotta try. We'd have to... I mean, we could save so much time and get so much information about what we're doing here. Not to mention, if we encounter somebody... If Starfleet encounters somebody this again, they would at least have something to, to work off of. Yep. All right. And with that scene taken care of, we're going to jump to the medical bay. Or the life signs, I should say. <laughs> So, the hallway down to the uh, medical bay is as sterile as it was coming in. Um, it's fairly long, a few spider webs or spider web-like corridors, but the tricorder does not err. It leads you to um, a rooms full of. Quite frankly, it comes out of a. A science fiction horror room, really. There are several cylindrical pods filled with various fluids. Uh, inside each fluid is a being. In some are in very good condition, um, whereas others are, how should we say, a little bit more pickled. Thankfully, um, your crewmen are fairly easily found, and they appear to be unconscious with several various invasive probes stuck to, stuck into several orifices. And I'll leave it up to imaginations to imagine which ones they may be. Uh, various data readouts um, are on screens attached to each tube. Nurse, what's the status of the, the patients? Can we disconnect them without any damage, wake them up, get them moving? Okay. Uh, if someone could please take control of Zot and have me roll a, or have her roll an insight plus medicine with a difficulty of one. Okay. Insight plus medicine. Uh, regenerative medicine or xenobiology? I or think regenerative medicine? medicine would work in this instance. Okay. And that's one more point yes. of momentum. Uh, it appears that the... Um, so the probes are, a t for lack of a better term, are just sort of... Uh, they're not in too invasive beyond the initial penetration. Uh, they just go a couple nanometers into the skin, uh, pulling all and appear to be pulling all sorts of biological data. Uh, you believe that they should that they should be removed as long as it's done carefully without uh, any permanent damage to the patient. Um, however, a quick scan of some of the uh, more pickled specimens indicates it is too late for them. Their bodies are have already been sort of um, dissolved. Yeah.
Got it. Nurse, do we see uh, one zero in here? Oh, yes. His partner's already found him. Yeah, take one, get one zero done first, and then the captain next as soon as we see him. All right. Okay. It's not the one zero is more important than the captain, but... It I mean, might help his uh, <laughs> roles. <laughs> that was just for the that mainly in I had to let the captain know that you're still important because my eval is coming. Up. <laughs> yes, you're still a long way from the six month evaluation, but you know, got to build the got to build the uh, report early. All right, uh, Zot, if I could have an uh, control medicine, please, with a uh, difficulty of two. Medicine. Using the same focus, and away we go. Woo! Yes! Nice. Go, Zot, go. You're hired. <laughs> <laughs> Won't forget you next time. Nope. Uh, Liam, you are... Oh, what's the word I'm looking for? Ordered to assist in the heavy lifting of the binar um, from the tube onto a nearby surface. Uh, you are now covered in icky fluids, which you probably don't want to know. It leaves sort of tingling on your exposed flesh, but nothing permanently. Nothing permanent. It'll wash off. It'll yeah. wash off. It'll wash off. <laughs> the... Uh, uh, the uh, probes are removed quickly and efficiently from Zot. Uh, her exobiology comes in handy, and it's not long before she revives 1-0, and 1-0 sort of sits up really quickly, locks eyes on 1-1, one, one, and the two of them immediately uh, hug and start speaking to each other in binary. Oh. All right. Uh, awesome. Yeah, they quickly Zot. turn to one another and then back to Zot and say, "In unison, thank you." Zot nods her head in acknowledgement. <laughs> Great. Let's go after the captain next. Okay. Um, I'm just going to let the scene play out now. We don't need to do any for any more rolls? No. Yeah, no, no yeah, further she, roles are needed. Uh, it's yeah, she got take, the feel for how to. Do it. Yeah, she got the feel for how to do it, and it's quickly becomes a fairly repetitive task, one patient at a time. But eventually, all twenty-five individuals are uh, recovered. Some have not taken well to the uh, probes removal. Uh, something about the captain's telepathic abilities have left him in a state of semi-consciousness where more like he is quite drunk for lack of a better term he is not capable of giving orders roger let's we'll start setting up this tr um, transporter enhancer here and start sending people back to the uh, nighthawk Okay. And I shall let that proceed. And we'll start with the captain and any other injured. Mm -hmm. uh, it is at this moment when the uh, security system trips into, uh, or comes into play thanks to the uh, interference of the other party. Not that they have told you as such. Um, The a single beam lances out at uh, <laughs> Lieutenant Commander Liam Helsing, and I would like a uh, daring plus security or daring plus security roll, please. And you'll have to meet or or you'll have to beat a two. You'll have to beat two successes, which you do not do. We got one. Yeah. <clears throat> You take uh, three points of energy damage as it lands. Most of it gets absorbed by the body armor, but 
you are still you still feel a small electric jolt as some of the energy makes its way into your body would you care for a response uh, we need to talk to these things first it's, but with phaser fire naturally in control security control security difficulty of two <clears throat> damn <clears throat> Not effective. Uh, you are caught off guard and are unable to make a proper um, repost. Uh, if so if someone wants a Zot or the Binars to fire back, now would be a good time. All right. Zot draws her phaser and fires in the general direction. Mm -hmm. Zot can use the momentum if she wants to. Yep. Or if they want to. Yeah, well, why not? Because I... I mean, she's already been badass already. Why not make her like, <laughs> yeah. medical <laughs> Rambo? <laughs> yeah, I forgot to take the momentum myself, so this is... Fit. All right, she doesn't have any applicable focuses. Oof. Wow. Oof. She Oof. is not trained with that phaser. Sorry, sir, I, I, I panicked. I, I, I saw you were hurt, and, and then I almost shot you. Mm-hmm. There Anyone there want to roll a... for the binars? I'm not hearing a volunteer. And pull them up. Uh, sorry. So, I guess they'd be control plus security. Uh, yep, control security. All right. Uh, the binars don't do a good job either. They're just... Now this is what happens when you travel with the brains instead of the brawn. Uh, now it is the turret's turn. So it is going to, once again, fire at Mr. Helsing. And that will be one success. So if you can do a daring security with two or more... There we go. You get a momentum back. You get one momentum back, and now that you're expecting it, you do an awesome roll behind a, a lab table, which deflects the phaser. Or whatever the heck it's using. You may return fire. And I'll be using one of the momentum for a third die. Okay. Okay. There we go. There you go. Yeah. And you get that momentum right back. If you can if you can roll me some challenge dice. Yeah, I get nine challenge dice. Because I'm awesome. Well, you would have to be. Okay, that's five. Um, I would recommend spending a momentum to re-roll those zeros. Oh, yes, that'll happen. Yep. 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 Rolling four zeros. Mm -hmm. So momentum can be spent to re-roll zeros on challenge dice rolls, but not on uh, test rolls, for lack of a better term. So, okay, yeah, that's tell. nine. The Not only does the uh, small defense turret blow up, um, the explosion is so great it knocks out a couple uh, nearby lights as well. So that just looks at... At Lieutenant Commander Liam Helsing and goes. Uh, oh, sorry, that's Andrew's character right now. Uh, oh, one one looks yeah. at Liam Helsing and goes, "Good shot, sir." Thank you. Is everybody okay? Not a scratch here. All right. Okay. I guess transporting commences. Okay. Uh, what do you guys wish to do now? Uh, transporting will take a while. Um, you have once transporting is complete, it is going to be about two hours thirty minutes before the uh, ship's computers are fully downloaded. Can our team actually um, contact them and then tell them what we're planning to do about getting the info center? 
Yeah. See, that's um, exactly what I was thinking. Right about this time, I want to yeah. call call them too and tell them that we would like, as soon as they get done, to meet us at the information center because we need the buy in ours. <laughs> uh, Roger, we can does, move. Does not appear to be blocked. Awesome. Um, we can move to you faster if you want us to leave and let them just commence with the transporting without us. Or we oh, can wait. I was going to say, make sure that everyone is back on board. Um, and then as soon as you're done, meet us at the information hub. I think we have a great opportunity right now. <clears throat> All right. So... And we'll leave this uh, transport enhancer already set up. Okay. Okay, uh, so this is going well. I think now's a good time to take a quick bio break. So if so, if everyone can be back about 20 minutes to the hour, uh, we will continue okay. then. Awesome. All right. Okay. Give me a split second to mute the stream, and then...
Okay, welcome back, folks. So, we are going to start by cutting to the control room, or the control information center. <clears throat> it's very surprising how little in the way of internal security there is for such an impressive station. Uh, you've been able to make your way down here with very minimal uh, problems. Uh, one or two of the small uh, control dome or defense domes activated, but a quick phaser shot from the hawk-eyed uh, Liam, Liam Helsing or Loxley Ebriel was enough to knock it out before it could prove troublesome. <clears throat> you emerge into a very uh, expansive room where you're actually able to stand up straight for the first time since coming to this blasted station. Um, all around you are banks and banks of computers um, with no, they're not displaying anything aside from a few blinking LEDs in various patterns. There's a lar there's a very loud roar, most likely the cooling system. And this thing, there must, this thing is the size of large supermarkets in the United States. So just picture a Walmart just without rows of food and toys and clothing it's just banks upon banks of computer hardware where to start i was gonna say are we all uh, here now everybody i would say that you've probably that you've most likely have communicated so that you arrive more or less at the same time all right all right um what I want us to find is any information about this area of, this, of the expanse that we are about to embark on. Anything possible, maps, species, anything of this area that can help us in our further our mission um, before we try to uh, take down the um, tractor beam. Okay. Uh, by and ours in particular, uh, download anything, everything. We can sort it later. Uh, just whatever you can cash and grab. Um, I'm giving us basically, we said it would be about, we have about two and a half hours left. I'd say now closer to two since it, um, that about two hours left to go. Okay. So, yep. Um, um so if someone wants to take control of the binars, I promise I will not override their role playing with them, even though I like binars. Uh, this would be a. I'm going to make this an extended task, um, just to figure things out. So this is going to be. There's going to be a work track of 15, and I'll, I'll review the rules once I'm done typing everything out and explaining things. This is going to be a difficulty of three. Uh, actually, a four since it's an alien system. Um, there is going to be a magnitude of three, so you need to get at least three breakthroughs in order to call the task complete. Uh, there's that, there's that, there's that. I'm missing one. What is it? Resistance. And it's going to be a resistance of three because. Actually, it's going to be a resistance of four because, once again, alien computer systems do not want to be hacked. <clears throat> so. Um, one person obviously does the primary role. There's another, an additional could assist. So this would be primarily such uh, control plus science or control plus engineering. Or I would also allow a control plus security if someone wants to attempt to break into the systems. Uh, who's got the best combination of those? Uh, I'm fairly. I'm good control security. I have bad control, but good engineering. <laughs> to meta game, I am um, fifteen control security. Okay, so that's higher than me then. But I don't have any focuses. That's where I fall over. Yeah, the binars would have the focuses. I don't know if they have the same stats, though, since they are supporting characters. Yeah, I think the stats kind of suck for this. Do the focuses just give Actually, no, actually, not... Yeah, it's still plus three. Uh, oh, okay. 
Actually, no, they are pretty good. They got 10 control and 4 science. Oh, wow, yeah. yeah. And they got, I guess, focus with computer, computer science. Yeah, so a focus allows for an, a, a much higher range of a success Yeah. than if you didn't. So. so I guess they should take lead on it. Uh, yep. Okay. Uh, do you want me to do the roll? You want to do the roll, or? That sounds uh, like if you're controlling them, you go ahead. Yeah. Yep. Okay. So how do I do this again? Is it? Um... So you would roll. You would roll the task as normal. So this would be a control plus control engineering. Plus... A control uh, science for them. Okay, control science. That would work. Uh, difficulty of four. So. Do we have momentum to spend? We do, right? Yep. You have two momentum to spend. And of okay. Course, so I'll assist. assist. Okay, so I'll spend one, one momentum for them. Okay. I'll assist. 3d20 and focus. Ooh, okay. Huh. That's the Italian... Is that the Italian flag? Not quite. <laughs> okay, so... There's the assist roll. Oh. Uh-huh. Oh, oh, dear. So, alas, you don't make anything... <laughs> work uh the system is so complicated it's very difficult for even two brilliant minds such as yourselves to figure it out with everyone looking at you uh in fact um the the you've somehow managed to accidentally burn out one of the modules ew oh dear <laughs> However, this is not a time to test, so you're more than welcome to try it again. Well, okay, it is timed like two and two and a half hours. Yeah, 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 closer to two now, but yeah. Okay. Okay, I guess I'll try it again. Um, Go for it. I guess I'll spend, I'll spend the last momentum as well. Mm -hmm. That's better. Okay. That's three successes. That's Someone give me the assist. Come on, Commander. Yep. There it is. Hey! Oh, there we go. Okay, Whoa. so congratulations. So now, if uh, Chris, if you can roll a number of challenge dice equal to two plus your Binar's science roll. So six. Yeah. Oh, oh, wow. Wow. That's <laughs> awesome. Oh, Woo. that's nice. <laughs> okay. Uh, the problem Good is that the there is a work track of, uh, so that is enough to achieve a breakthrough. Um, so this is going to affect this in a couple ways. So uh, there. So this is going to now change the work track to uh, 13 left. Then it's going to bring the difficulty down to three for the next one. Okay. So that's what the challenge is going to be like for the next turn. Uh, so you learn a couple things. Uh, the first is is that this universe is classified as universe 316.4. It might help in narrowing down the scope of data that you're interested in, because it appears that this sphere has been has been to at least a hundred different universes. Um, <clears throat> let's see. You learned that. Um, you've also gained a decent num a decent uh, s scans of the area in term, but they are the most recent scans are about a hundred years old. It appears that this sphere decide or the owners of the sphere recalled it once the Borg began to get a little uh, uppity in this area a centuryish ago. And this is, appears to be the sphere's first time back in this area of space since then. Hmm. So you, um, if you want to roll again, uh, oh, I should okay. sorry, I should say that this is a magnitude two task now, not uh, resistance of four. Okay, I think the binaries are will continue. Okay. Okay, that is two oh, successes. Okay. That's because it's only difficulty three now, and there's a third. Oh, perfect. 
Okay, so once again, binars can roll their uh, cha. Um, so now because uh, the magnitude has been reduced, you can add an additional cha an additional challenge die, if my memory serves. So now you can roll seven chal. Uh, yeah, seven challenge dice. Seven challenges. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Okay, still pretty good. That's still pretty good. Uh, that is. Uh, let's see. That plus the resistance. You only make another one, uh, one progress on the work track, which is not enough to. Uh, make any further breakthroughs. Perfect. So. Let's update the work track for you guys. There's now a work track. Now I could now if you happen to get more momentum, you could spend it to lower the resistance of such things. Um, likewise, uh -huh. if one of your player characters decided to use to take the main role, they could also use a determination to get automatic successes, which might make life easier. Might not. That's up to you. So determination has a tie into one of your values, though, right? Correct. Uh, I don't know if anything that really applies. Anyone got anything? Yeah, uh, yeah, I think I do. I'll take lead, okay. and uh, I have fascination of the unknown. That would work. Okay. Okay. So automatically have two successes. And then the binars assist. Yep. Yep. That's the binars assist. Okay, so binars did a good assistance. And once again, you managed to uh, meet the difficulty. So uh, you can roll me. Actually, no. Uh, with the additional That's... two, so you get two momentum from that. And oh, that right. Oh, yeah. Wow. All right. Cool. So that is a pretty significant thing. So you can spend the momentum to reduce the resistance by two for for each momentum. Uh, let's see. Absolutely. Do that. Okay. Okay, so now it's a resistance of two. So uh, roll me seven challenge dice, or sorry, you uh, roll me challenge dice equal to three plus your science. So seven and challenge dice. Okay, so I'm in the micros, and it's challenge dice, in bar. Yep. Um, how do I do just... So there should be a button down in the, at the very bottom oh, of the I... screen. It says challenge dice now. Okay. So... Okay. That is six. That is uh, combined with the previous work done. So that is enough for another breakthrough. Okay, so let me quickly update the current status. So we're now work track eight left. That's enough now to drop the difficulty to two. <clears throat> is it eight left or is it seven? Uh, so it was that, and it was a risk. Uh, let's see, he scored six, and oh, sorry, sorry. oh, okay, yeah. And he dropped yeah. resistance by two, so that's so twelve minus four is eight left. So yeah, yeah. you're right. Okay, you are finally able to figure out how to stop the transfer of data coming down from the Nighthawk. I'm assuming you do that. Yes. Okay. 
there's a couple um, Windows error messages that pop up saying, warning, uh, warning, there is still data left to download. Are you sure you wish to cancel? Yes. Canceling. Um, not only that, you also figure out how to proper or how to uh, reverse the polarity of the download so that it turns into an upload. <laughs> You're now able to upload data directly to the Nighthawk. However, the encryption is still proving a little bit baffling. Um, it, the system is still fighting you every step of the way. Um, so if I could have someone else continue to roll the uh, roll another control science. Um, I should also mention that you are now below two hours left, so you're now about oh. let's say an hour fifty. Okay. Well, uh, actually, that doesn't matter anymore because we canceled yeah, the we canceled the download. Yes. Yeah. So it's just a matter of someone coming in, stopping us now. Mm -hmm. Right. Uh, I'll go ahead and spend momentum and, and get an extra die on the for the binaries again. Okay. Do you want to take lead again on that? Yeah, oh yeah, I'll take the lead with the binaries. So it is now just difficulty two. And there's one momentum. Anyone want to assist? Uh, the Bashir is just so pleased with himself that he did so <laughs> well last time that he has not yet. <laughs> <clears throat> okay. Um, now, because you've lowered the diff, the mag or the difficulty again, so this is now a, yet an additional challenge dice. So we're now up to four plus your science skill. Okay. Uh, their science is okay, so eight. Yep. Eight. Okay. Uh, let's see. The oh, resistance. Resistance should only be a two now right yes, or is I that only for that one i honestly don't remember but you're so close to finishing off anyways i'm just going to call the work track complete okay yep um works for me with a couple by nothing there's very few computer systems in the universe that can withstand a pair of binars and unlimited time and this appears to be the case here uh so the binars are able to uh, create an an uplink back to the nighthawk where you can upload the data that you wish to do. Um, so I am going to allow you to pick, say, three subjects of information that you want to upload, and then it's you're pretty much just going to fill the uh, fill every nook and cranny of the computer core of the Nighthawk with those three pieces of information. Uh, one of them, I'm assuming, was the surrounding sectors of space in terms of stars, Mapping. et cetera. Okay. Mapping. Mapping. Um, species. Yeah, habitable systems, habitable systems, all that stuff. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Uh, so you pick up a species, uh, local species. Um, it. I should mention that the one piece of information that you're not able to find is any information about the uh, builders of this device or this. Okay. Species. I was just about to say. <laughs> yeah. That's the one thing you can't find. This whole thing's been sterilized. All right, mapping its species. Anything else anybody wants that we should thinks we should get? Oh, I really want like starfighter designs from other universes. Technical data for yeah. ships. I was okay. thinking the same thing would be nice to have. Okay. Local cuisines. Um, oh yeah, cuisines. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Lo local recipes. <laughs> Let's go tactical for uh, yeah. the, any sort of ships or technology. Okay. So I will make a note of those and provide various pieces of information between sessions. All right. And, yeah, it is about this time that, you, that the system realizes what it's doing and shuts down. And all of a sudden, um, uh, the white lights... Uh, turn into a blinking uh, blue, and the various uh, um, over the sound speakers a cha the now familiar earpiece piercing screech of binary static begins blaring. We better book it and uh, you know yeah get our stuff done. 
Yep. All right, we, we got what we came for. Let's go down and get this tractor beam shut off. Yep. Yep. Okay, down to the lower levels, or the lowest level, which will be the engineering, or the power center. As we head down there, I talked to the commander. Do we let this ship return to its home dimension? Or do we rig something, blow it up? something near its power core? Couple of phaser rifles geared to overload. <clears throat> Just a thought. Let me think on that. As long as we get what we need out of it. Exactly. <sighs> That's. Okay. Let me think on that. I'll get back to you. Thank. Well, it's not a threat to us once we get this done, but it's a threat to others. It's a good... Well, let's get our ship out of here, and we'll we'll take that as we get down there. Okay. Do you have explosives? Only thing we could do is probably rig the other um, transport. Uh, okay. Transport enhancer with the phaser rifles set to overload. Should do it. I mean, anything's supposed to be squid hard enough. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Or are we set to that energy that's blasting out and have it set to just to keep building up inside? I don't know. <laughs> I hate to make an enemy from another dimension why we're out here but i think you got a point we don't want anyone else falling into this trap and the information they did receive from our ship we don't necessarily get out okay let's move all right uh bursting through one of uh as you descend through the uh this is a very weird thing because you don't feel that you're going downhill, but yet your tricorders are showing that you are descending at a very steep angle. It appears that gravity, the gravity plating has been set on this uh, particular hallway to make it feel that you're running straight uh, along a level path, where in actuality you are heading in a downward pattern, downward path. Uh, like so it comes to a little bit of disorientation as you quote unquote level out to a massive doorway leading to a gantry uh, platform um, this it's hard to call it a warp core per se but there are it appears to be um, you have you guys ever seen those um, large Tesla coils beaming uh, energy into um, ground or grounded cages and that buzzing sound they make is this like an any kind of conquer red alert may as well be except it's you know not actually energized at you just rather uh, various resistance and other power conduits um <clears throat> but these things are giant massive spheres that appear to be converting the solar energy that is being sucked off the nearby star into this blinding white energy. Uh, this blinding white energy is then sent uh, at blazing intensity into some sort of array emitter uh, beneath you. And if you continue to look out, it is almost directly over top of the inner hole of the moon where the particles are being generated and blasted into that aforementioned pocket of space so is it possible to set this whole power system to overload uh you are welcome to try um it's uh, going to need more than a few phaser rifles that's for damn sure i was trying to think like well i mean i'm thinking out loud but ideally i'd like to, to set it up to explode after we manage to like um, beam ourselves out. But I don't know how feasible that is. Well, we gotta get back to the shuttle and uh, 
because oh, uh, we gotta get the track. We gotta get the tractor beam down first. That's our most important. Yeah, but I'm, I'm just thinking like if we knocked out the power, would that knock out the tractor beam as well? If we if we managed to shut down power for the whole thing. I don't see why it wouldn't, but yeah, it that, should. That would be a big boom. Yeah, th th well, that's why I was saying, like, I, did, I, I set up after we're gone and not while we're in here. Yeah, so we have to get tractor beam down first. That's, yeah, yeah, one way to say it, I guess we should knock on the tractor beam and then we can look, take a look at this. Okay, uh, so that would be an insight engineering with a difficulty of one to find the tractor beam controls and to shut okay, them I down. Can do that. Yeah, that's, yep. that's enough. Uh, it's fairly easy to find the tractor beam override uh, panel. Now that you, after all the information you've gathered from the control center, or the information center, I should say, uh, you've got, you're starting to figure your way around this uh, computer system. So you find it and flick it off, and the little indic the little tractor beam indication just goes away. All right. Well, that I, means the, the Nighthawk is probably leaving shortly. Yeah, I was going to say I calmed them and told them they're clear and to get to the coordinates that we planned. Uh, the, there's too much interference down here for you to reach the Nighthawk. Okay. Well, let's hope they follow the orders. Orders <laughs> that were given. Yeah. <laughs> so what do you want to do about uh, blowing this place up? Is that what you want to do? Yeah, I think we should at yes. least shut it down. So I, our best bet probably is overloading the power system, right? Unless anyone has any better ideas. I'm has. Do we get the sense that it's trying to leave? Like, is that why it's projecting as? Um, it's most, projecting something out into the into the space. Uh, most likely, from your s, from what you were seeing. It looks like it was going to create a, a breach into another universe and then sort of just pull itself into the breach. But you haven't figured out how long that's going to take for it to happen. So I guess the other possibility is if we help it along, which carries its own risks. Right. And yeah, we uh, just got to make sure we're out of here before it does yeah. do that yeah and we have i guess we have no idea how close it is to, to get enough energy for that right um is there, if, is there a meter can, can is there any way we can look through the system while we're down here to see like what is um if there is a time limit when it's going to be sent back to its own universe or yep. whatever the... uh that would be insight plus science um if you happen to have I don't know, particle physics, astrophysics, um, physics, anything like that would help. Uh, let's say that this will be a difficulty of two. That is not me. <laughs> nope. Anyone? I'm looking to see if... Liam and the Ensign both put their hands <laughs> same but, time. Keep that us. They're involved shooting some. <laughs> <laughs> Archaeology, cybernetics, xenobiology, xenobotany, infectious diseases, and linguistics. <laughs> uh, so are we relying on the binars again? Um, I don't even... Well, we can try, but I don't think the binars would have a... I mean, their computer science could work, but that would pull up the data, or the raw data, well, I mean, but it would still need e interpretation. But even just the raw skill, I mean, even about a focus. Because you're saying it's insight and science, right? Yeah. And they're pretty good at that, even about any focuses. So if no one else has any focuses that are applicable, then we might as well just go to the binars. No, I have ancient technology as a focus, but I don't think this is ancient. Or it could be ancient, but it wouldn't be. It'd be a stretch, I think. That would be a stretch. Um, tell me, tell you what, if you choose to spend your determination, I will let that happen. Oh, I'm all in. Okay. All right. 
spend a ter- determination. Okay. Um, you spend your determination. So, yep, uh, feel free to roll. Um, so that will grant you an automatic two successes. Okay. Uh, I would like to spend momentum. You, you can't because uh, you use it. Oh, right, because it's... Right, cause it's yeah, sure. by spending the momentum to get the two extra dice or two extra successes, mm-hmm. um, what you're actually doing is generating a third dice already that rolls the ones. Uh, so if you okay. wanted another dice, you would have to spend two momentum. It's kind of not explained well in the rules, and honestly, I didn't explain it well either. So, yeah. so that's good. Good. All right. So that is one point of uh, momentum at least. Right. So, um, what Alec recognizes is there's some very interesting things at play here. Um, in fact, you're recognizing, while it's difficult to know for sure, um, and very few pieces of technology have been found from this race, there's a lot of it about this that looks somewhat similar to Iconian technology. Oh. Hmm. Whether or not it's actually Iconian or not, you don't know, but there's enough similarities that you're able to at least sort of muddle your way through it. Um, All right. So, uh, you understand that this thing's going to punch through the universe uh, in about three hours or so. So you do have some time, but... Keep in mind, at a full sprint, it would take about a half hour to reach the shuttle. I'm sort of just in favor of booking it myself. Uh, I am too. I think we just get out of here and let it go back to its universe. Because if we cause it harm, it might blow us up. That's fair enough. Or retaliation of some kind. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Um... Okay. I guess uh, the other option is trying to find a way to optimize their their power generation to can actually help it along to faster. <laughs> no, no, no. Nah, I don't think that's a good idea. I think we just if it, if the, all the power readings are actually showing that it's going to rip a hole in the universe in uh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> in three hours, I'm just gonna say let's be gone in those three hours and. Okay. You know, we go. let it. Well, yeah, we got yeah. got our crew back. We got the ship free. We got a ton of information to play with for a while. And I say, get out of here, head back, and get back on course. All right. I say, let's get out of here then. All right. All right. Thirded. So, a half hour sp- sprint back to the shuttle craft. Uh, are you guys doing anything on your way out? No, I just rather, yeah. I would love to look around some more, but at the same time, it's like, no, let's just get out of here, get coordinates. And... Very well. Uh, you are back on the shuttle. <clears throat> uh, the shuttle does not appear to be tampered with in any way. Uh, no sign of hostiles or intrusive programs. All right. Uh, now that you're back to the surface, you do... S- see that the Nighthawk is no longer present. Now, one could hope that it has <laughs> uh, m- made its way to the predetermined rendezvous coordinates. I'd do a quick sensor sweep to see if there's any debris. Nope, no debris. <laughs> Excellent. Speaking uh, of other universes, the our yeah. ship is in... <laughs> Was that star there before? <laughs> uh, it's way too early for a mirror episode. Our universe episode. Yeah. Okay, so let us. I'm just going to uh, secretly just grow a mustache. <laughs> and just, just show up. Uh, and it is a uh, warp, hop, skip, and a jump to get away from here. As uh, b- in the time that you've been on the um, moon, the hole in the universe is actually becoming a bit m- more visible now. It's um, similar, at first glance, it's very similar to that of a black hole visually. Um, 
but instead of uh, pitch black, you're seeing um, sort of a different star field uh, war, as if it was being viewed through like a 480p uh, television screen. Her- something horrendously unfocused at the moment. You know, if there was actually I make a, a, like a light veering motion towards it, like, ah, just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> All right. And it is, yeah, the, let's put you guys back on the shuttle just for funsies. <clears throat> the shuttle ride is mostly uneventful. Uh, very quick, a warp hop, skip, and a jump, and you find yourself at the coordinates where the USS Nighthawk is. You are hailed by the ops officer. Um, USS Nighthawk to the uh, shuttle to the shuttlecraft. Go ahead. The, uh, sirs, everything is. Rep- all of the crew member are beginning to recover. Uh, the captain is on his feet again, um, but he's going to have a w- wicked hangover. I think we're all going to have a wicked hangover after all this is said and done. I think the fact that we're using the terminology whole in the universe. <laughs> <laughs> you, are cleared for, you are cleared to dock in Shuttle Bay 2. I acknowledged. All right. And you are now back in Shuttle Bay 2. The captain has sort of stumbled his way down. Um, Lieutenant uh, Knorr is, despite showing no emotion, you get the feeling that she's a bit frustrated with his behavior. <laughs> All right. Uh, what do you guys wish to do? I've. Uh, this is pretty much the end of the plot, so if you guys have any wrap-up scenes you'd like to take care of, now's the time. Um, quiet meditation for Alec yeah. reflecting on what he's learned and profits okay. and okay. watching it sort of crumble away from him maybe the profits were one of these machines who knows okay I'll head up uh, Commander Bashir do you think that was a little bit too easy something that powerful had internal defenses that were almost negligible I mean, those little things that shot, it was like pinpricks. Hello? Hello. Yes. Yeah, I think that was incredibly too easy. I got a bad feeling we're going to that uh, technology. I mean, in the data that we took, I mean, we got a sandbox that hard. So I'm just got that feeling that it, as soon as we booted up, something... You know, the old Trojan horse, to use a Earth colloquialism. I'm not so worried about the data, but I have a feeling that this will come. How do you pink skin say it? Bite us in the ass? <laughs> and hard. Well, speaking of which, I'm going to head down to the holodeck. Uh... <laughs> Alec needs some stress relief. It sounds like okay. Yeah. Um, the Shran. Uh, anything in particular you'd like to do to wrap it up? Uh, well, oh, I was uh, originally going to start digging into the data files, but then they mentioned that uh, we should probably check it over first before people start um getting into it. Uh. Oh yeah, I should also mention that um, Lieutenant Cassatt has sent you a couple messages indicating that whatever you've done to temporarily get the engines online has blown up and taken the replicators on deck five out with them. Uh, Lisa I guess I better start fix. Yeah, I guess I better start fixing stuff on the ship. 
And anything left from you, Cap or Commander Bashir? Uh, no, I'm basically going to go and uh, I think I'm going to go to uh, ten forward and uh, have a drink or turn in. <laughs> Sounds like a good idea to me. And mm -hmm. on that note, we shall have a parting shot of the USS Nighthawk gliding into the um, Starfield, and we shall close the session out. So I'd like you all, I'd like to thank you all for playing and anyone else for listening along. Uh, at the end of this episode, sometime this weekend, the Nighthawk episodes will go live on ELH Mark 1's YouTube channel, and I would strongly suggest that you guys uh, keep track of them there, or follow me on, find me on Twitch, McCall1337. Thanks very much, everyone. Bye-bye.